Good morning, Votai, Chodesh Tov. Uh, let's start speaking a little bit about the halachot of berachot. These are things that we encounter every single day of our lives, multiple times a day. So it's important to know the, uh, the correct halachot and the procedures. So first of all, with regards to berachot rishonot, blessings made before a person eats or drinks anything, I'm talking about birkat hanhinim, the halacha is that any amount that a person eats or drinks requires a bracha rishona. As long as you are enjoying it, as long as you're benefiting it, even if it's a tiny amount, you have to make a bracha rishona. Whether it's mizonot, or ha'etz, adama, she'akol, it doesn't matter, you still have to make a bracha rishona. The only exception to that is if a person drinks water for anything else but thirst. Let's say a person's drinking water to take medication, or if a person has something stuck in his throat and he wants to drink water to, to, to make it slide down, the halacha is over there, you don't make a bracha. But anything else, that has enjoyment, even a tiny drop, you have to make bracha rishona. The halacha is a little bit different for bracha achrona, for after blessings, which is brachot after you finish eating or drinking. So first, let's talk about food. You have to eat in order to make a bracha achrona. It's not enough just to enjoy. You have to eat a significant amount. What is considered a significant amount? For food, it's considered a kazait. Kazait means it's approximately 27 grams. It's an olive's bulk, an olive's volume. It comes out to about 27 grams of food. Now, it's not only the amount of food that you're eating, it's also the time frame that you're eating the food in, which the poskim call betoch kede achilat pras, which is a machloket among the poskim. How long is toch kede achilat pras? Some say it's four minutes, some say it goes up to nine. La alachal ma'asim aran zechonu bracha holds like the middle opinion, which is about seven and a half minutes. If a person eats this kezayit within seven minutes, then you make bracha achrona, otherwise you do not. For drinks, it's a little bit different. In order to make a bracha achrona on a beverage, whether it's water or juice or wine for ala gefen val the halacha is that a person has to drink what's the significant mm-hmm. amount. Over there it's not a kezayit, it's a reveit. Reveit is approximately 81 cc, yeah. which comes out to about 2.7 ounces. It's less than three ounces, it's not a lot. What's the time frame for drinking that reveit? It's also makhluk at poskim, la halacha, we hold because of safek brachot, it has to be toch kedesh tiyat reveit, which is only a few seconds. The amount of time it takes to drink this less than three ounces in a continuous fashion, which how long does it take to, t- uh, to drink three ounces if you're not sipping? Mamash, a second or two, if you drank it like that, then be'emit, you'd be eligible for a bracha chrona. Otherwise, you'd only make bracha rishona and not a bracha chrona. We'll continue with Hashem in the following days. Yom Tov and Chodesh Tov.